Hello, today I would like to discuss a little bit more details about the wiring of the SP6006 standard steel push button switch panel. So as you can see, this switch panel is beautifully designed with low profile face plate. And uh, the little bit drawback of this panel is that there is no slot for circuit breakers or fuse holders in the front. So the way we designed it is that we use inline fuse holder connected in the back. So in the standard version, there are three inline fuse holders with ATO blade fuses inside. So each of the inline fuse holder connect two switches separately. There are three input total here. The fuse is equipped with 15M uh, fuses by default. But the switch, since the switch is capable of 20M, you can replace the fuse up to 25M based on the rating of this cable. So here is the wiring diagram we have in the menu. So we understand that this is not as convenient as many of other switch panels, that you only have one main input and you, they split to six, all the six branches, and then to the six devices, like this. But uh, this is kind of a trade-off that we can make based on the, this panel's low profile design. Alternatively, we can wire the switch panel by removing the circuit protection to an external fuse block like this. So the fuses are now installed on the external fuse block, and with the main input over here, and then to the switch panel like this. So we would ship the switch panel with input cable separately six branches, and we can customize the cable lengths to fit the fuse blocks layout you have. And so this way we can connect all six branches to the fuse block. So this all the switch branches has a single input and then protect it through these six fuses and then to each of the switches and then to your devices. So this is more like a traditional uh, switch panel way. And uh, one of the advantages is that since this is a 100 amp fuse block, you got a total input max up to 100 amp. And each of the branch is based on the fuses, of course, but it is 20 amp max. The switch is 20 amp max. The cable is 20 amp max. So there's no problem for each of them 20 amp. The only drawback is this design takes more effort to install and it's less trivia for end user to install by themselves. And of course it, it costs more than the standard wiring option we have. So it is up to you to choose, but this is just quite a nice way to do the alternative wiring. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have questions.